Let me start off. Do you guys any do you guys um, know any symbols or um, any social media from this? Do you guys recognize anything? It's not a rhetorical question, just yell out some things. Facebook. Facebook? What else? Twitter? MySpace. MySpace? Alright, cool. So that's one of the things that has to do with media. That's just social media. But there are different types of media such as television, video games, newspapers, whatever, what have you. And that's basically what I'm going to talk about for today. So the negative effects of technological media. My research question is, what are the health-related outcomes of children using technological based media. And my thesis is the media causes adolescents to become obese and sleep deprived by having lack of exercise, expensive hours on the media, and compulsive eating themselves to death, basically. Um, again, uh, what are the negative health related outcomes? Children use technology based media. And thesis, same thing. The table of contents, what I'll be talking about today is the usage of both teens and um, adolescents from 5 to 12, and how long the kids are on the devices. And also, we'll be talking about like, media leads to um, sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation leads to obesity. Obesity leads to neurological problems, and conclusion, and solutions, and bibliography. So the media, what do you guys, let's talk about this picture, what do you guys notice about this picture, or this set of pictures, what do, you, what do they have in common? Just oh, shout out to them. They're all kids. They're all kids, what else? They're all on the screen. They're all on the screen? Alright, exactly. Basically what this is depicting is that all the kids are glued to the screen and basically just want to watch it all the time and be on it all the time. And I got some facts for you. Um, kids spend more about more or less. Okay. Anyways, um, kids spend more or less 11 hours on media rather than sleep or being in school. But when they're in school, they basically think about all the social media, whatever, or what's going on, or who is going to fight, or World Star, what's happening on War, World Star. And basically, that's what they're going to do. And did you know that 70% of families in America do not know or are going to limit the technological advances that the children are using, such as like video games? For example, kids are, tend to be 35 hours, tend to spend 35 hours a week on social media or on television. Also, 40% of young people, meaning 5 to 12, are, um, are on networking sites. In addition, 53% of those are teens and on social networks such as Twitter, Instagram, Vine, or what have you, or Snapchat. And I want to bring your attention to this graph. Um, this may be relevant to you, so it's a range from 16 to 55 year olds. Right now, I want to focus on the 16 to 24 year olds. As you can see, the green is the um, not enough sleep category, red is just enough sleep, and blue is just enough sleep. Let me define like well, how much sleep there is. So, just enough sleep is just seven hours. Not enough sleep is from one to three or four hours, and more than enough sleep is from seven to nine or ten hours. As you see, the 53%. That's us. Just enough sleep, just seven enough just to function. And that 33, 32% is us that doesn't even have enough sleep. That will affect our motor skill, our behavior, our mood swings, etc. Um, so uh, there was a study conducted in uh, Japan called the Toyama study. And it basically had the Japanese Japanese students who were on social media and basically interacted with, the, with one another and decided whether or not if the children will cause any more um, sleep or sleep patterns. In fact, the sleep patterns um, decreased and the sleep patterns just changed dramatically and they basically they had bad sleep hygiene. Sleep deprivation leads to easy. Um, this is a picture of the BMI. Um, BMI. Scale from 18.8 to 24.9. 
is normal weight. Overweight weight is 25 to 29.9. Obesity is from 30 to 34.9. Severe obesity is 35 to 39.9. And morbidly obese is 40 plus or minus. So basically how you would, just for your own preference, if you want to know how you would fit in this category, you would have to have your height divided by your weight. No, your weight divided by your height times your height, basically. The negatives. Television is a huge business. As television occurs, there's, they are bombarded by numerous ads. They are bombarded by McDonald's, Burger King, technological like the DS's or PS2's or PS3's or whatever. And basically, they're all all what's they're going in their mind. It's just I want, I want, I want more, basically. And basically, they just go to their parents and like I want this, please, I want this, please, I want this and this and this and this. But what their parents are actually doing is they're actually giving it to them and basically feeding their ego. A study conducted in John Hopkins. <laughs> a study uh, conducted in John Hopkins states that for each additional hour of sleep, you, are, you have less chance of being obese, 9% chance of being obese. And for example, if I sleep for 10 hours, I would have a less chance than somebody who sleeps for a good three hours. And basically what this picture depicts is like if you become sleep deprived and can't sleep at night, you basically have to do something to keep yourself busy. And what and what do you guys do when you keep yourself busy? Maybe you watch TV or you can go to the fridge and see what's there to eat. We see a ninety two percent higher risk of being overweight or obese is compared to children who have longer sleep duration. Like I said before, if you sleep longer, you have a less chance of being obese. And teenage obesity may lead to other heart problems such as um, type B diabetes, asthma, orthopedic problems, and hypertension and heart disease. Solutions. I would actually like to ask some of you guys, what would you guys do if your children was overly using media? Just for the parents. Take it away. Take it away? Okay. That's basically what I would do too. So what I would do is just limit the children's time on the usage. Avoid buying junk food so when they're street deprived or whatever, they can just go somewhere that's not um, healthy or is healthy and not just pick up junk food. Make sure they go to bed on time, whether or not they're finishing homework or whatever. And they try to put on data limitations on the phone, even though it's like one gig, that's just fine with them. And talk to your kid, just talk to your kid, just if you talk to your kid, then they would really, there wouldn't be any room for them to be on social media. Instead, they would just be talking to, your, to you about their life instead of posting on the wall on Facebook. And most signs of sleep deprivation, the sleep deprivation causes um, physical changes, mood changes, early mood, early morning indulgence, communication problems, difficulty in processing information, and impaired attention span. So, for the recap slash um, conclusion, uh, the media takes up most of the children's time. Media causes children to be sleep deprived. Sleep deprivation leads to obesity. As will cause the children to want more. And late night eating will cause significant weight. And the ways to change those is just to limit them, so suppress all what they have, and basically just be a good parent, just save them for once. Uh, Q and A's. Uh, what made you choose this, uh, this topic? Uh, basically, why I chose this topic because I was this, I was this, I was this topic when I was younger. I was basically used in about twelve hours a day on the media or video games. And basically when I was on the video games, I just had snacks on the side and just kept eating myself to a wave. And basically I just came to closely severe obesity, but I'm not working on it to cut it down. Any others? Um, I read something about how biologically teens are actually supposed to wake later than the way that um, we have school set up and when we get to school eight. Did you come across any research about biological patterns of sleep? 
Um, I came across some, but basically, biologically, it's up to the parents to like if they have like if they pass it down. It's not necessarily biological; it's just how they're raised. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm asking like biologically, like oh. what's good for you and what's ideal. But did you come across any research related to that, like based on your age, just the biology of your body? It's different for different agents, right? So I'm just wondering if you came across any 